Have you heard about Hammer and Scorecard? Lots of people who expected Donald Trump to win have shared this theory of an election hack. I think there are any number of things they need to investigate, including the likelihood that 3% of the vote total was changed in the pre-election voting ballots that were collected digitally by using the Hammer program and a software program called Scorecard. Hi, I'm John Greenberg with PolitiFact. Activist Pamela Geller said a YouTube video shows Hammer and Scorecard at work in real time. But there's something else behind these numbers. It's time for a truth -a meter Minute. Here's what people who believe in Hammer and Scorecard say. There's a CIA supercomputer named Hammer. It cracks into secure networks like state voting systems. Deep state actors seized control of Hammer. And there's a program called Scorecard that changes vote results as they move from voting machines to a central computer. Before we go any further, the head of the cybersecurity agency created by Trump says Hammer and Scorecard don't exist. He says the theory is nonsense. That's his word. So where did this theory come from? A former government contractor named Dennis Montgomery says he designed the supercomputer. But Montgomery's made false claims before. He said the governor of Nevada was taking bribes and that he had proof of a conspiracy against Arizona Sheriff Joe Arpaio. None of that held up. He's accused of conning the government during the Iraq War. There's a video that supposedly shows Hammer and Scorecard in action in real time. It's taken from CNN's coverage of the 2019 Kentucky governor's race. At one moment, the running totals don't add up. It's Democrat Andy Bashir against Republican Matt Bevan. The narrator zeroes in on one moment when the numbers are updated. Look down below. He did have 662 to 35 at the exact same second that Andy Bashir has gone up 560 votes. Matt Bevan has gone down 500 and 60 votes. This is vote switching in the computer. It's fair to say there was a glitch in CNN's vote tally, but that is not the official vote count. UC Berkeley election researchers Philip Stark told us that while CNN aims to be accurate, what it shows on election night is sort of the sports aspect of elections. It's not the binding result. Here's what's going on. Precincts send data to the Kentucky State Board of Elections and keep any hard copy records from the voting machines at the polls. CNN contracts with a company that pulls numbers from the Kentucky State Board of Elections. The company feeds the data to CNN and it shows up on your television screen. After election day, officials take at least a week to verify the vote. In Kentucky, they do a random hand count of ballots. That paper trail is a key piece of protection against a computer hack. In Kentucky, Bashir won by a little over 5,000 votes. Time now for the rating. Did that video of CNN show Hammer and Scorecard in action? Hammer and Scorecard don't exist. A wrong CNN graphic doesn't prove that they do, and it didn't change the outcome of an election. That's it for this truth a meter Minute. If fact-checking's your thing, Come see all our work on election misinformation at our website, politifact.com. And while you're there, sign up for our weekly newsletter.